I think uh, it, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact that we are a nation of struggling people. We are struggling so hard that some of us are resorting to desperate measures to make ends meet, and it just breaks my heart to see. I saw a story, Mr. Inno Prince, of a dude who uh, basically accepted a dare to ride his motorcycle while naked. That's in Uganda. In Uganda, in exchange for 20,000 shillings. And this what? happened. Yep, this happened in Insambia. Sambia Trading Center. Shillings. Yep, this guy whose uh, name is Ivan uh, Bandese, mm. he's a 30 year old resident of Nsambia Trading Center. Well, he embarked on his uh, this uh, unconventional challenge of riding his motorcycle while naked in exchange for 20,000 shillings uh, in a dare. My goodness. That, that, so, that, that really shows you how bad our situation is in Uganda. He rode his motorcycle for two kilometers naked. Yep. And uh, he collected his 20K. (laughs) Now, some residents condemned the direction in which people's moral fiber is heading. And others are saying that, look, for the right price, anyone would be willing to do such a thing. Come on, Batman. Considering the dire economic situation. All right. Maybe also that one would be put into, you know, analysis if someone would say for the right price. If they say maybe we're giving you two million or something to get on a on a bike naked and ride on a bike, there's some people that will be down for it. But then if you look at twenty thousand Ugandan shillings, that is also I mean that's that his pocket change. Yeah, right? but it's, that that just shows you how people are struggling. How people are struggling. Then the other side is also the moral values that people are now holding in society. If yeah. someone feels like yeah, but hey. see morality, <laughs> morality is a luxury for the rich. When you're poor and desperate, there is no morality. You will do anything. Because let me ask you so. So is your uh, opposition to this out of principle saying you simply should never do this because it is wrong? Or for you, is it more an issue of whether the price is right? So you may not do it for 20,000 shillings, but would you do it for 20 million shillings? Wow. <laughs> that's if someone put 20 <laughs> M on the table, you know, Prince, would you not ride a motorcycle naked? Honestly, I would ride it. I would <laughs> ride it. I would ride it. I would ride it because uh, the situations that people are living through right now, yeah. you, you, you wouldn't even uh, think twice, I would assume. To me personally, I wouldn't think twice if the price is right. Yeah, but that's how much 20K means to some people, man. People are starving and 20K... Can, can feed some people for a week or even more. Yeah, that's okay. true. So, so in, there are the situations that we're in right now. So people are really desperate. People are desperate. They will do anything you to see that they get girlfriends, something off them. Your girlfriends are demanding money from you for <laughs> hair and everything else. <laughs> so man, if uh, they're offering you money for such a dare, uh, I mean, uh, for some people, it's not a big deal. That's Damn. a hard one. That's a hard one because uh, if if we, if we're to get into that direction, then we'll have a society also that will just be you know to fall apart. To fall apart, I would say. <laughs> that is to say, anyone will come and offer you offer you something that is uh, very awkward and maybe let's say too dark. I would say, and and we take it on. But it's it's the the, the conditions we're living in that would cause us to take such kind of acts. There's nothing else that you would. But it is a risky endeavor, I must say, aside from the fact that, uh, you know, police might intercept you and arrest mm. you mm. or you might be stoned how by did, how did this a, guy get away with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming in, if that was in Zambia, the day I was, do it in the center, like in the center yeah, where there's a lot of people, not in an isolated place. <laughs> I think, obviously, if you're riding on a bike, uh, I think a lot of people that saw him must have been unsure, like, wait, wait, wait. What did I just see? Like, and like then before shook. before you register, it registers, the guy is already gone. So you're like, ah, maybe I just imagined I, I, it. Yeah, I, I didn't see well. Uh, maybe he was I wearing was brown or something. Maybe he was wearing brown pants, and I, I <laughs> couldn't see it, in, you know, in the light. Uh, but uh, so so maybe for him, he felt safe that uh, he could get away with it. But quite a risky move uh, because with all of the beautiful women of uh, Kampala and they see you rolling on a and, bike and uh, <laughs> you are to encounter one of these ladies with the big nyash swinging from left to right <laughs> and you're riding your bike naked if what it was if, for 20 million good but if it was for 20k ah. yeah but my question is like what if you get turned on oh <laughs> what if what if you get aroused while you're participating in this dare man man that would and also be more dramatic and you see a fine dramatic. lady juicy 
Yeah. That would be more dramatic right there. I guess now the guy would be struggling. You're like, yo. Yeah. He, he, he would be holding, you know, the the, 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 the the wheels and everything, but covering with the hands and all that kind of Man, stuff. Man, yeah. that probably lead to an accident. So I got to say, yo, this was a risky maneuver. Uh, but once again, just points to the fact that people are desperate and are willing to do anything for even just a mere 20K. We're here seeing me at 20K. Do I even have 20K in my pocket? <laughs> I don't. So I'm not going to knock this guy too much. Man. All I'll do is sympathize with his plight and hope that, uh, you know, there's a brighter future for the people of Uganda, especially now as we're heading into the month of December. Rx Radio.